So in the last video tutorial, we learned how to set up an IMAP email account. Um, but now we want to change a few things just so it's a bit easier to use. Normally when you open Outlook, it, um, it starts on your personal folders option, which brings up all your, you know, your tasks for the day and your calendar and shows all your email accounts. Personally, I prefer it to start in the inbox of my chosen account so I can just see the emails as soon as they come in so if you like that too go to tools options click on other and then click advanced options under general and here you can change what you want to be the startup folder so you just click browse and you browse the account that you want to start in. In this case, I actually want to start it in my Spinning Planet account, so I click OK, and then just click OK, and the next time you open Outlook, it'll go straight to your inbox. Um, another thing that's a bit annoying about IMAP is when you delete a file, it really doesn't actually delete it. It's called a two-part process. It puts a line through it, and then if you actually want to get rid of it, you've got to go Edit, Purge Deleted Messages, now you have to do this now and then or your email account's going to get really large. Um, and But the, the downfall of that, of course, is sometimes it's good to know what your deleted items are, so I keep them there most of the time. But a way that you can hide them is right-click anywhere on your toolbar up here and make sure that Advanced is ticked. Now your Advanced menu will look like this. And all you have to do is change it from IMAP messages to hide messages marked for deletion. And what that does is it just hides your deleted messages so uh, you can't see them anymore. Okay, another handy tip with IMAP is setting up subfolders. So if I click on inbox there, you can see I've got a folder called clients. I might also set up a folder called personal and then what you can do is you can easily just drag those messages into their respective folders. So this is a really good way to sort your messages like that. Um, another handy tip if you do have lots of email in your sort of POP3 account, I'll give you an example, I'll go in here. Um, what you can do is just drag those messages over into your IMAP account. In fact, what I'll do is I'll create a new folder and I'll call it Orcon because that's what my POP3 account is. And now, if I drag that file over into my Orcon folder, it's now backed up on the server. So I know if this machine dies, it doesn't matter, the email is always going to be there. Okay, the last tip for IMAP mail um, is creating rules. Now, what you'll notice um, is that when Spinning Planet identifies a spam mail message, if it doesn't have a high enough ranking that we automatically delete it, um, we'll actually just mark it as spam. And so in the subject line, you'll see star, 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 spam, star, star, star. Um, now the way to easily get rid of that is to create a rule. So we go tools. Oh, we make sure that we're on the um, IMAP account that we're using. Go tools, rules and alerts and we want to create a new rule and let's just do it from a blank rule so we go check messages when they arrive correct click next and we want to tick with specific words in the subject and then you go down and you click on specific words so i'll go star 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 spam star 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 and click add and then ok and click next and we want to permanently delete it and it asks you if you're sure now our system is 
I'd say it's 99.9% .9 sure. If it puts spam in, in the subject, you can rest assured that it is spam. So I go permanently delete it and then click next. And we don't need to worry about any, any of this. And there's the name that the rule is going to make it. And it says that it's going to turn on this rule and click finish. Then click OK. And the next time a spam message comes in, Outlook is automatically going to delete it. Now rules are really handy. Um, if you have emails coming in from a specific client and you know their email address, you can create a rule that says whenever an email comes in from brin at spinningplanet.co.nz, put it into the Spinning Planet folder. Um, and then it'll automatically organize the emails as they come in. Personally, I prefer to have them all just come into my inbox and then manually sort them. But yeah, the rules wizard is very handy.